Good morning guys, I just woke up. It's like past 7. I barely vlogged last week. I did vlog a little bit, but so I'm gonna show you guys what I actually did end up vlogging, but it's not much, so I decided to actually vlog today, like sort of another day in my life, and just show you guys what I'm up to. I got up early because I have a lot to do today. I don't have class today, so uh, my first class is actually on Wednesday, so... I also need to do some preparing for that. So let me show you guys what I actually did vlog last week. I'm not the most patient. But when I'm with you, I can do that for you. I can do that for you. Yeah. I can get complacent. But when I'm with you, it doesn't make me want to. It doesn't make me want to. So I got my nails done yesterday. Wait, this is a bit crooked. Hold up. I think this is better. So yeah, I got my nails done yesterday. I went to Bilo Studios that is run by Lisa Onoa. Yeah, like we did like this French with this chrome tip, which I thought it was very nice. Lisa also does my lashes as well. So I was like, let's just do my nails with her as well. Like it was funny because like ever since I came back from Korea last year, I really didn't trust anyone to do my nails anymore because I was just so used to the nails I got done in Korea with a very nice nail art and it's just the salon I went to before I went to Korea I just at some point just wasn't really like happy with them anymore like the things like the way they worked and stuff so so that's why I actually painted my nails myself the rest of the time before I went to Korea this summer but I was like let me just go to Lisa and let her do my nails as well and I absolutely love it so I think Lisa is just going to do my nails from now on in the Netherlands yeah I'm actually now going I'm gonna go to her friend I'm gonna stay at her place she's gonna cook for me which is very nice I think she's gonna make like some nasi I think and we're just gonna think like watch a movie we were thinking about maybe watching a uh, Studio G movie so but I do think that she's not comfortable with me vlogging so or like at least she doesn't want to be on camera so I'm gonna see what I can vlog and if she doesn't want me to vlog at all then I completely understand let's just see what, what I'll be showing you guys the rest of this day so I'm at my friend's house right now like she ran to this grocery store real quick because she actually didn't have the rice we needed for the food it's actually also pretty late we kept like talking and talking and then it was like damn it was so late and she still had to get chicken so we actually went to the supermarket to get chicken like i think it's 9 a.m 9 p.m at this point so i'm just taking care of the chicken here so i'm waiting for her until she gets back like the grocery store is literally around the corner of her house so she'll be back very quick but yeah i'm just having a great time we're just doing a lot of chatting anyway hence why i also don't vlog a lot so i'm very sorry for doing a horrible job at vlogging this is me cooking the chicken and we're also going to add these um, vegetables and so yeah just having a good time really lots of chatting without all the pressure better late than never if i could so yeah i just woke up and i'm gonna uh, just get ready and do my skincare and just get started with the day. I hope we can last forever. Cause it can't just be whoever. Came into my life, didn't know that. Could have met early on, but we slowed in. Messed up a couple times, couldn't read between the lines. Maybe we should just hold it. I'm sorry, cause I'm leaving soon. But just know I'll be back for you. I'm sorry, cause I'm leaving soon. But just know I'll be back for you. It's actually funny to realize that I think in a month later it's going to be still very dark at this time. It's very light when I woke up. So, but I know it's going to change once fall is nearing. 
like fall is actually one of my favorite seasons i just like the whole vibe and the colors of the leaves falling and just everything about fall i just really like everything that comes with it i actually wonder how it is in korea right now like it's been two weeks since i've been back and or is it three like two to three weeks since i've been back and i literally still miss korea every day like i just sometimes it still like feels like a dream that i was there for like seven weeks this whole summer yeah it was such an amazing time and to be honest like i really feel like such a different person since i've been back like like going to korea I really felt like it was really something I needed mentally. Right now, I also feel so much better mentally. Like, I was in such like a bad place, like mentally, for a long time right before I went to Korea. And it also sort of felt like a sort of do-over from my study abroad time. Not that my study abroad time was bad or anything. Like, I actually did enjoy it, but I really felt like... I enjoyed this time much much more compared to my study abroad time because also during my study abroad I was literally also like um, struggling a lot mentally but this time when I was there like I just felt so much better I felt so much at peace and also like I think it also comes with like the freedom that I got to do anything I wanted in Korea because obviously I was by myself just like going everywhere by myself also that solo trip to Jeju it just I don't know how to describe it but it's just I really felt like it was definitely something I needed and now I actually just feel so much better and I feel like I can, ju can just take on anything really <laughs> so there are also just some other things going on in my life right now but some of it is quite personal so i don't know if i actually i'm actually going through something right now and like i'm not really ready yet to talk about it yet because one it's just it's hard to explain but like yeah it's not giving me too much stress right now i feel like if it happened before korea i would really be stressed out a lot and i would just mentally be down so bad but right now i'm just feeling positive i can take it like I just feel like I can just take on so much and also my life has also like changed throughout the months like I cut off certain people I I just started to focus on myself on the things I want and actually just a lot of I basically learned a lot of life lessons really I don't know why I'm rambling so much on the camera I think maybe since obviously since I haven't really vlogged that much since I've been back I think it's just nice to like talk about it like, i feel just like a whole new person like lisa's song new woman like <laughs> yeah i'm now just going to go on a little morning walk it's also a little trip to the grocery store to be honest because i actually ran out of blueberries and i want blueberries for my breakfast so it's also actually a good excuse to actually go on a morning walk now so let's go let's So I just had my breakfast, it was very good, it was actually good that I went to get blueberries because I don't like eating my breakfast without blueberries so I'm a little bit in a dilemma, I was supposed to get a package but according to FedEx it's arriving tomorrow which is Loki, which I'm Loki a bit gutted about because I actually wanted to film my storing away photo cards video because I actually finally finished and hypens um, Romance Untold era and the photo cards uh, that I got on Sendico were supposed to come today but according to FedEx they're coming tomorrow so I actually low-key hope that I maybe still get it today because then I could like film it or else I would have to do all of that tomorrow so it's a little bit of a bummer speaking of k-pop i'm actually very excited for the concerts i'm going to soon so at the end of september i'm going to k-con in germany with my best friend we're going on both days so i'm mostly excited to see the boys and also on and off and who else is coming kepler like my best friend is mainly excited for rise like i also like rise but i'm not as big stan as she as my best friend is but still it would be nice to see them because i also saw them at music bank in uh, belgium a couple of months ago and on the 2nd of october i'm actually going to bi with another friend and i'm also so excited about that because bi also performed in the netherlands last year but that was when i was in korea so 
then I was actually gutted that I couldn't go. But hey, at least I can see him now. So it's actually great that he's coming to the Netherlands again this year. Yeah, I have actually many concerts planned, which I'm very excited about. Like the last time I actually went to a concert concert, like I know I went to Enhypen's comeback showcase and Waterbomb. But I think like maybe Itzy then was like my last actual concert. Okay, so I actually have to see what I have to do now. Because I wanted to go to the library today to get started on um, my homework. Because I have classes to prepare for this week. So, But the library doesn't open until 12 and because it's Monday today. So I have to see what I, what I should do. Oh, it actually just updated. And it's out for delivery right now. But it still says before 6pm. And I'm like, bitch, tell me when it's coming. Like, I don't... It's like 9 a.m. right now. If you're gonna tell me it's before 6, it can be any time of the day. So, oh, I hate it when post careers do that. So, okay, but at least right now it updated 15 minutes ago that it's out for delivery. So, I hope I can still get it this morning because then I can show you guys the photo cards because I actually want, do want to show you guys the photo cards. Even though this vlog will be up um, before my storing away photo cards video. But yeah, it, it's just nice to do a little unboxing because I feel like I haven't done that in ages, so. Okay, so my package is still not here, so, and I actually don't want to lose any more time, so I'm just gonna do what I plan to do. I'm gonna put on a bit of makeup first because I don't want to just feel like put together because I'm going outside. So, and I actually also want to film a TikTok on my, um, go to red lip i wanted to do that and i don't know just wearing red i just like wearing red now like i used to be all about the nudes and the pinks like light pinks for years and now since korea i'm just into red lips so yeah like i don't know when my package is gonna come and when i can film the video i think i'll just or maybe when i get home or it's just going to be tomorrow and then i'll show you guys tomorrow so that's okay Also guys, I don't know if I showed it like or talked about it in one of my vlogs, but I actually have curtain bangs now. And yeah, I can sort of like brush them like this as well, because that's what my hairdresser suggested. But I don't know, I just prefer to have it like um, on the side. Wait, I have to brush this part here. Yeah, this is what I prefer more, and this was actually what I wanted. So like once I was like done, I was just so scared with the result because it literally looked like a regular bangs. So I was like, damn, did she just not do what I asked? But luckily like she did because she also said like this one's this is, like easier to brush aside so it doesn't look like a chunk of hair if that makes sense. So I did buy this in Korea. Which is like a super hard water spray. Like apparently it's very like hard. So I shouldn't be applying too much. But I applied a little on like flyaways. Because I, because since my hair is layered. And one time one of my hairdressers actually cut too much uh, layers like hair. It actually resulted in a lot of flyaways. So I like to spray a little bit. Not too much. Because this one is very hard. So it, like. So I just brush it like that. And then I just basically not touch it. Like, you really shouldn't be using too much of this. Because, wait, maybe also a little bit on my bangs. Because I also have some flyaways here. Like, in the middle of my forehead. And I basically only do it on top. Because it's... Or else my hair here gets very hard. So, yeah nice nice i have a lot to do so i'm following uh this course called uh contemporary korea so it's more like sociology and then a course called business korean so i'm basically going to be learning korean like the business language and stuff and apparently we already have a vocabulary quiz on thursday so i actually still have to like start preparing for that as well i hope it's not 60 words because all the vocabulary tests we used to do were like 60 words and that per week imagine like I hope I didn't jinx myself just there. Wait, my dad actually wants to ask me something, so I'm gonna check what he wants. 
Okay guys, I finished filming and guess what? My package actually did arrive after all, so I have my photo cards here, but I'll just film the video once I get home. So let, let me just show you guys the cards real quick. Oh, I'm so happy. I have lipstick on my teeth. No. So first we have... Oh wait, there are two cards in here. Oh, they're not sleeved. Okay, so... Okay, so we have two heat sinks here. I think this was from... Which version? I think the dark blue version. So, like, my heatsink look was insanely bad this comeback. Usually I actually pull more heatsink than Jungwon, but this time Jungwon blessed me, like, literally. Like, I pull Jungwon in almost every album, which is literally crazy. But yeah, I finally have some heatsink. So, wait, I'm gonna sleeve these later. I just don't have time right now. So, next I have... Okay, this one is nicely packed. Sometimes I had photo cards that just literally weren't packed nicely at all. And then I, I either have dents in them or scratches or uh, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, okay. This, this is the OT7 card. Wait, let me actually take off the tape. So this is the OT7 a PC from the Weavers album. I sometimes like to collect the OT7 PCs as well because then it also like sort of fills up my binder. Next we have... I'm gonna throw this away anyway so I don't care. So this one's also nicely packed. Oh yes, so this was the Jung one I was missing. Oh my god, this PC is so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so happy I pulled it. Well, I didn't pull it, but like I bought it. <laughs> Wait, is this the... Yeah, this- oh wait, this has both Jung ones from the yellow version, which is good. Yes, yeah, so these were the photo cards I was still missing. Oh my god, look at Jung one with the lip piercing on this photo card. It's crazy. Oh, and this one is so cutie. I'm so happy I got them. Next we have another Heesung. I'm a little bit of a rush, so um, I have to do this fast. So we have this Heesung with the glasses. Very cute. What's that on his neck? Oh my god, he actually has stickers on his neck. Which is crazy. <laughs> nice, nice. Since I barely like collect and trade anymore, like I have so many top lo loaders laying here. So if anyone just wants them, give a nice price and I'll send them to you. We have another Heesung. I think it's mostly Heesung because I did pull a lot of Jungwon myself. So yes, so we got this one. Very cute. Wait, is it focusing? Yeah, this one. Super cute. Like, his hair is literally covering his <laughs> right eye. So cute. I see two Heesungs here. I think one of the photo cards, I don't remember which one. I actually bought it double because I was just looking for it singular, like the specific photo card. But it was only like, I could only find him in a set of a photo card that I already owned. So... I was like, whatever, it was cheap anyway, so... This Heesung... I'm just gonna keep it in the sleeve for now. Very nice. And then we have this one as well. It gives a little bit of Jungwon vibes here, not gonna lie. I don't know why, maybe the hair. And now we have another Jungwon. I already got like his other, like, variant of the version. I pulled that one myself, and this one's with the peace sign, super cute. This one, I don't know, because this one is packed in carton. Ah, I can't wait to put them in my binder later. And then I have Romance Untold Complete. I told myself I wasn't going to collect anymore, but here I am. I mean, that's also still content for you guys, because I know some of you guys actually follow me because of my K-pop content. Oh yeah, this was the <laughs> double... Oh. This was the double he sing I was talking about, so I either just have to sell it or give it to someone. Okay, three more photo cards to go through. Wait, so I also have this photo card. But this one's not sleeved, like why? It already has like things on it. Oh well, but then I also have this photo card. It's from the engine version, like I thought I found this photo card. But it looked very similar and it was actually a lucky draw. So actually I was like, why, why is this photo card so expensive? But it was a lucky draw, but the pose and the picture and everything was too similar, like. So, luckily I actually found the actual photo card. And then I have this one. I think this is also the one I got. Not sure. But I don't know why that one is not sleeved and the other one is. Because it's from the same seller. And then I also have... He's some with the heart finger and the yeah, little duck face, really. So cute. 
and yeah okay then i don't get why he assumed that the book wasn't like sleeved but oh well as if it was just put away there as if as if like the seller packed it and they were like oh crap i forgot to put this pc2 and they just put it like that like that's the vibe it sort of gives off and finally yeah this is the last one i have a young one once again not sleeved oh i like this like necklace it's so cute like yeah it's sort of watch but then as a he wears it as a necklace which is so cute i also got his other variant like with the with this pose like so so cute like you, you should watch my unboxing if you want to know like all my reactions of jungle photo cards so yes these are all the photo cards and i cannot wait to store them away once i'm home so i'm going to film a video once i'm home and i've done all my homework because i need to stop procrastinating right now like i've been procrastinating the past few days guys it's not nice like and i still need to pack my bag so i see you guys i hope at the library i hope to vlog some a lot because i do want to like give you guys content so and i'm also hungry because i haven't ate, ate lunch yet so i think once i arrive in the city center i'm gonna try to find something to eat first and then i'll just stay in the library so I'm now at this ramen place because I was craving ramen. I'm very hungry. I'm not talking too loud because there are actually two people sitting in front of me. And it's a little bit awkward. So I hope you guys can still hear me. Yeah, I still haven't checked what I have to do when it comes to homework. So it's probably going to be a long day in the library or just a short one. So, but it's okay. But first I really need to eat some lunch. And once I'm home, uh, I'm from the throwing away for the cuts video and then I'll see what I'll be vlogging with my day so crazy lightning here though I love my makeup today well you cannot see it because of the red light <laughs> So I got home, I had a lovely productive afternoon in the library, I read some articles for a class and I actually am quite behind schedule with my um, things I have to prepare for class but it's okay like if today's Monday and I have class on Wednesday and Thursday so I have lots of time. Like I had to read some articles and I am quite a slow reader and it also like sometimes takes a while for me to understand what's in there so it took me quite a while like finished reading one article and i was busy with the second one but then it was like too late so i just wanted to go home and i actually also finished uh filming the storing away photo cards video which will also be up soon i was actually done a lot quicker than i expected because it was only a few photo cards and then i was already done so yeah i don't know if i'll continue with my homework the rest of the evening <laughs> 